Everything is a mess. And I haven't called a repairman in years. Because every time one of my sewing machines break down, I figure it out and fix it myself. And this is a total mess. You see, I've already started taking everything loose. I've taken the screws out already. And now I have to take out the plastic plate here. And I drew my needle up. It's just so tangled up in this thread that it doesn't want to come out right now. But, let's see if I can get this thing on out of here. I don't think I can do this like this. So, I'm going to take this loose and then I'll come back. Okay, now you can really see the mess. It was all tangled up in my cover so I couldn't get it out. But, ever since that first service call, I've been my own repair person. And I guess that's how you have to be now, because you really can't find anybody now. So if you want to keep your sewing machines, you got to figure it out yourself. This I'm working on is a Brother SC9500. And I know you say, well, it's on. Yeah, it's on. The difference, I've cleaned this up. Brushed it out, blown it out, and it looks so much different. It looks so much cleaner. That's a little oil in there. Um, so... I'm going to go on and continue to work with it. I don't see any screws loose in there or anything. But I'm trying to make sure I get all the dust. Because you get a lot of dust from your threads. And I found a little, a uh, few little pieces of thread in there as well. That I picked out with my tweezers. Always keep some tweezers handy. And... It'll help you to pick out all the big clumps of uh, lint and thread. So, I'm going to go on back to work at this. And I'll be back when I put it back together. I forgot to put the bobbin casing back in there before I put the um, cover back on. So, I had to take it. I'm going to leave the... I had to take it a loose and put the bobbin casing back in. So just don't forget to do that. Or else you have to take it back a loose again and put the bobbin casing in because it's not going to fit over the cover. It fits under the cover. Okay? I put my, S, my brother SC95 back together. But... I had to go into it internally. I know you're not supposed to. It says to call uh, a licensed person to do that. But I'm not about to spend another, well, it cost me $85, about 75 years, about seven, excuse me, seven years ago. 75 years ago, uh, about seven years ago, spent $85 just for the service call. So, I said I will fix my own machine for that kind of money. So, I've been learning and learning, and I took the thing apart, even though you're not supposed to, but I took it apart. I took my little Phillips and went in there and found balls of lint from all the sewing I've done. And that was clogging up the machine. But I want you to hear how smooth it is now. See, I'm going to take this little piece of cloth here 
and uh, I want you to hear how smooth it is since I fixed it. so smooth. I just love it now. I love it more than ever. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to throw away my surgery. Now, look at that. good. It runs smoother than when I first got it. So, I mean, this is nice. You can't even see it. But, it's so smooth, so quiet. I think I, bit, I did a better job on it than from the factory. So, anyway, remember, Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. You need to do that right now. Because I see you guys have been watching my video, but you haven't hit that subscribe button yet. So, make sure you do that. And I'll make more videos. So, we'll do some sewing on the bro Brother SC9500 and the Brother Surger strong and tough 4031 so make sure you hit that subscribe and thanks for watching